this is perhaps the most famous attraction of Spiti Valley. And why shouldn't it be? The monastery is simply stunning. Dominating the landscape of Ki village, Ki Gompa is the largest monastery in Spiti Valley. Founded in the 11th century, this Buddhist monastery seems to be a part of a fantasy land, a mystic land. Ki Gompa has been attacked time and again by the Mongols and other local rulers. Even then, it stands today, bearing all the ravages of time. Key Monastery is located about 15 kilometers from Kaza town, and it takes around 40 minutes to reach here from Kaza. Located at an altitude of 13,000 feet, Key Gompa is like a town in itself. It has temples, prayer halls, schools, and hostels and monks' quarters inside the complex. This is a place where young monks get their education. You can see them around the Gompa, some playing around and some doing what not. Inside the key monastery, it is beautiful. There are assembly halls and prayer halls filled with thangkas and murals and other valuable artifacts. There are prayer rooms and meditation rooms where the adult and monks usually meditate. After exploring the gompa, go behind it, climb the hill up and you will get some great views of the monastery. After a trip to Chicham Bridge, Kibir and Tashigong, we arrived at Ki yesterday evening. We stayed at this quaint homestay, Tanpala Homestay. This has a great view of the monastery. Ki village is beautiful. With the mountains and the river flowing by the village, the place is just lovely. I'm glad we stayed at Key. It was a wonderful experience. But it was also our last day at Spiti. We are leaving today. We just got the news that the roads to Manali are open since the last two days. So we decided to take the route to Manali instead of Shimla. So as I bid goodbye to Key Monastery, I also bid you goodbye for today. In our next video, we will be back with our journey from Kaza to Manali. Until then, goodbye and see you soon.